Hey everyone, so in this video we're gonna see that uh, what are the different types of work items in Agile. So I'm not uh, gonna explain in, in very detail uh, because this is not the scope of the series. So you, you must know about the Agile methodologies. So for example, we have currently these uh, work items. So let me explain uh, briefly what are these. So starting with the features, uh, feature is basically it indicates the, the set of different epics. That means that a feature can have multiple epics. Okay. So it basically explain that, for example, we have a feature in our pro project or application and uh, in on the large size we create a feature of the application for example we have a feature of uh, user management so we have created one feature okay and uh, under the feature it comes the epic and uh, epic is basically a very large requirement it's kind of a placeholder and uh, in the epics we have different user stories okay and uh, so epics comes under the features and the features uh, and, and user stories comes under the epic so what are user stories a user stories uh, is basically a smallest unit of your uh, functionality in agile uh, which can be delivered in uh, one sprint or multiple sprint usually one user story uh, delivered in the sprint so what is sprint we will also cover in uh, in the vi other videos so uh, so the user story basically uh, is b basically a smallest unit and uh, when we plan for our sprint we basically discuss the user story and we estimate it and we also add some other things for example what are the story points what is its priority and many things so user sh story should deliver a you know uh, a functionality to the customer that is valuable to him okay so in the user story we can create the task and while testing of the user story uh, QA can create the issues and the bug okay so bug is very straightforward if there is an issue in your user story so you can create the bug under it okay so this was the basic uh, and brief uh, introduction of the work items uh, you can also learn it in detail if you want but uh, usually uh, we create the user stories and uh, we work uh, we have the sprints and in the sprints we have multiple user story that we are gonna deliver in the sprints okay so in the next video uh, i'm gonna show you how we can have the multiple teams in the project for example the one team is working on the front end side and the one team is working on the back end side and the one team is working on the uh you know databases sites and for each team we can have different sprint and we can have a same sprint from each team okay so that's it for this video uh thanks and bye